Defying all odds, Bed Bath Beyond stock has continued to soar, but does it have the steam to continue? Hi again everyone, I hope you're all doing really well. It seems Bed Bath Beyond stock ticker symbol BBBY is really heating up as a short squeeze showdown between the retail and hedge fund sectors of the market. So in this video, we are going to dive into what is happening with all of this. As always, what I say on here is not investing advice, but in this video, I do want to dissect some of what is being said, particularly by a firm called S3 Partners, as well as look at the short squeeze scenario at the moment and get an idea for where it might be going. So let's get into it. So Bed Bath Beyond stock was up 68% on Wednesday and is now up by over 160% since the start of the week. And make no mistake, it is being driven by individual retail investors that are banding together. We obviously know this because it is publicly a company that is struggling and faces a very real threat of insolvency, as was pointed out earlier this week during a shareholder meeting, where they reported about their disappointing November quarterly. Now enter S3 Partners. S3 Partners is a financial analytics technology firm that provides data and analytics on various financial markets, including equities, fixed incomes, currencies, commodities, and derivatives. The firm is primarily focused on providing institutional clients with proprietary data and analytics on short selling, credit risk, margin lending, and ETF market structure. Shorts data being the one we're particularly keen on in this video. Basically, they are the advice to, and in this case, the voice of the big institutional investors and hedge funds, especially when it comes to shorting. Now, S3 Partners stated that this week's mega rally is not a short squeeze, yet anyway, which occurs when a stock climbs uh, rapidly forcing short sellers to buy back shares at, they have shorted in order to limit further losses, accelerating the stock's rally. Based on their research, they believe that the BBBY short interest is approximately 40 million shares, equivalent to $83 million of the market cap, or 52% of the float. And lack of available shares is actually holding back even more short selling from happening. What they are saying is that they believe the institutional market is frothing to get more exposure to the shorts at this stage in Bed Bath Beyond. They believe that the institutional investors are looking to get even more exposure to this as they do see as a company is very much on the slide. So we have a real interesting scenario here. We have the retail scene looking fairly united at this stage, going into battle against the institutions, much like we saw with GameStop all over again. But there is a key difference between the two scenarios of GameStop and Bed Bath Beyond. GameStop was not a company that was flirting with insolvency to the degree that Bed Bath Beyond is at the moment. So my gut feeling is that while the stock may continue to get driven up in the short term, barring any big announcement that would suggest an avoidance of bankruptcy, I think this one may come crashing down at some point. Unfortunately, while some will try and be publicly on board with hodling this stock and forcing a short squeeze, there are many amongst that crowd who will be all too happy to pull out wealth and jump into a short position, if possible as well, to continue to make gains on this play. So in short, buyer beware. Anyway, taking a quick look at the short start, there has been some movement in the short positions lately. While approximately 52% of the float is held in short positions, there is still an average days to cover of just under five days. So if you are planning on hodling, you have to ask yourself, do you think this rally is going to stretch beyond five days? Because that's the reality of what it's going to take for this thing to have the possibility of exploding as a short squeeze with shorts having to cover. So it is still a long time off in terms of market days for that to happen. If we look over at the aftermarket action in the stock, it has managed to add a further 52 cents to the price. So there is still a lot of buying momentum at the moment that brings the stock up to $4.04. Switching to a more technical chart, we can see the stock has gone into a slightly overbought state. However, one thing I think is worth highlighting is that the volume of trade really does start to drop off as the session goes on, while the price still climbs. And when you consider the strong upward movement in the low volume aftermarket, we could be looking at a bit of a bull trap of sorts forming here. Given the way the stock is moving, I don't see it as a worthwhile practice to try and put in price predictions for the next session as this could really blow out either way in my opinion. Also, if we look at the RSI, we can see that we are in overbought territory despite the lower volume of trade. So it's kind of looking from a technical standpoint like we could be at a bit of a tipping point here. Um, of course, like we've said all along, if there is a positive catalyst here, this thing could blow up further still. But without one, I fear we could see a bit of a crash to the stock price temporarily and perhaps an even bigger one down the track. So buy, beware. Anyway, that's about it for this one. What are your thoughts on the current BBBY rally? Is it going to run further and force a proper squeeze? Or do you think there is going to be a white knight moment that makes the short squeeze really take off? Ryan Cohen. Or is it going to be, come crashing down? 
let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Until next time, everyone, may the markets trade in your favour. Cheers.